Today we got a very special guest. We got the daughter of the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, George, Georgia Smith. And we're looking forward to the interview with her today. And it's going to be a fun time. And I can't wait for all you to hear what she has to say. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, thank you for being a guest today on the Gru. I, I'm really, I'm really happy to have you here. Oh well, thank you so much for having me. And we've been going back and forth, and now we're here. And I'm in a very good mood, and I like your bandana because my team won yesterday. Oh, the Bucks! Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, I live in Tampa, so I'm nice. in my home. So okay. I'm just so happy that they won. So I'm a little tender today. But <laughs> from last night's festivities, but you know, hey, it's it's uh, I'm 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 at a great time to be alive right now. Oh, definitely. I I mean, it it was a great game, and the Bucks like they they blew them out of the water. Like the Chiefs mm -hmm. didn't even show up to play. I know. Yeah, they they did good. I was a little worried at first, you know, as you are and. People kept saying to me, like, no, I don't think they're going to win. No, well, you, they're still the third half. They're still this half. They're still – and then, look, so bravo. Go Tampa. Yes, uh, it, it was It was very good. Tom Brady won yet again. <laughs> and, and then uh, next here in Tampa, it's uh, WrestleMania. So it's, yes. uh, it's, it's yes. really exciting here. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be – it's going to be nuts. I, yeah. I mean, you got the champs, and now – WrestleMania, it's gonna, it's gonna be a fun, a fun, a fun time to be there. I know. I'm. I feel very lucky that I live here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I I was looking looking up stuff online. You went to school for for broad broadcasting, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I went in 2011. I went to um, a college called Connecticut School of Broadcasting. They've got different mm -hmm. campuses um, all over the states. And they had just reopened one in Tampa. I think they've got another location or in Orlando. And I did that and uh, did different internships while I was there. I was at Fox, NBC, um, another syndicated TV show. Wow. And uh, yeah, I got to got, get experience, you know, in front of the camera, behind the scenes, editing, um, uh, and then from there, I worked at iHeartRadio, unfortunately, with oh. iHeart with events. There's nothing too exciting going on right now. But yeah, I, uh, I got hands on with everything and um, it was really good. Oh, that's awesome. And you also did um, some, some films or TV series, right? Acting mm -hmm. a little bit. Like, yeah. What, what, kind, what, what kind of stuff have you done? Um, so I honestly, like, I haven't done anything like too spectacular because it was just, as you know, or every, everybody knows it's just right place, right time, you know, hard work, just like getting that in. But pretty much when I was in high school, I took drama, I took performance, I took acting. I'm just worried. Sorry, my fish is not moving. I'm just a little concerned. Oh, no. right <laughs> so just give me a second. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, he's fine. Okay. Sorry about that. He's, no, uh, no, trust three, me, that's fine. Well, I had three fish named Butcher Bunny Blade after AEW, and Bunny is the oh my only God, one nice. he's alive. So, and he's, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's the only, or she, I don't know what it's, uh, <laughs> sex is, but um, she's, sometimes, you know, the, the, the um, tank just gives out, like it's like mm -hmm. too much electricity or something, and it concerns me, but he's, he's fine. He's just sleeping fine um so yeah um i i did different um like extra work and like just like assistant type work just tried to do whatever i could to to get in there and get experience and uh you know calgary where i did this it wasn't like hollywood or new york so i just took what whatever was available just took whatever opportunity and um you know sometimes it was really busy and sometimes it was really quiet so you know between that i worked full time. And then I went to Florida. Um, I actually, I was born in Canada and then I lived in Florida with my dad and my mom and Harry, my brother. We lived here mm -hmm. first years of my life, six years. And then we went back to, t to Calgary. And then, you know, I went to school and I did all that. And then we came back to Tampa where my brother um, was signed with WWE. Yeah. And uh, we were, you know, we all came together again. And that's where I took the Connecticut School of Broadcasting and uh, to try to get more into modeling. Um, again, Tampa's not really, I mean, now it's, it's growing and it's getting oh, a lot okay. bigger, but you know, when I first moved here in 2008, it was, uh, 
not good with the uh, economy. <laughs> and as you can re remember, 2008 was just, so I just, just kind of took whatever I got. And, um, you know, people I think have a misconception of me that I'm just like, I don't know, like I'm Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton. I wish I was, but, um, you know, everything that I've got, I've had to work for. So, um, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's not like <laughs> it's a big glamorous fun story, but I, I, I work hard. So yeah. Um, did a bunch of, bunch of internships, worked I'm back. And now I'm, you know, I'm pretty much full-time running my dad's stuff because oh, you know, wow. there's nothing really, you know, with COVID and everything, events and things are, are very limited. And, uh, you know, they, at iHeart, they had to furlough a lot of people. So I, you know, as everybody was, you know, when we're put into a corner and I was like, well, what do I, what do I do now? Like, mm -hmm. So that's when I was like, well, how about I start this stuff with my dad and, you okay. know, just put things to the next level with it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's taken off and it's, it's worked. Um, again, I believe it's worked because I, I care about it and because um, I, I just wasn't going to take no for an answer. And I just didn't want it to, I wanted it to succeed because I felt like my dad deserved, um, deserves all of this that he, at the attention he's getting. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry, long, boring story. No, no, no. No, no, that's great. That's fine. And, you, you know, I mean, everyone knows who your dad, like anyone that watches his videos knows who your dad is. At least I hope they do. Your dad is exactly, Davy, yeah. Davy Boy Smith, British, the British Bulldog. And um, tell, tell me about like the, the stuff you, you run for Davy Boy. Um, like what kind, yeah. of, what kind of stuff is it? So pretty much I'm just, you know, anything you want or need um, or inquire or uh, anything about British Bulldog, everybody comes to me. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I've had different companies go to Harry, you know, from <laughs> worldwide. And Harry's like, go to Georgia, go to Georgia. Whether it's talking about uh, Hall of Fame guest passes to um, a brand or whatever, or just anything to do with Davey, you, you talk to me. If it's oh. WWE, if it's the i don't know any anybody you come to me i'm i'm like the little encyclopedia for uh, <laughs> i'm i'm the uh, the box of uh info so yeah i run all of his stuff i i handle all of that um i started his i made an instagram account for him uh two years ago actually just was just past two years ago mm -hmm. january 2019 uh, uh, i created an instagram account and i wasn't expecting anything i just wanted you know uh, a nice platform for my dad for fans to share pictures and i share pictures and you know it doesn't cost me or them anything and it's just something you know there's a, always every single day there's something new about davy a new thing of content and um yeah next thing i know he's uh verified you know i, I got him verified and i got him he's uh over sixty thousand followers now and i'm awesome. hoping that by uh wrestlemania it's going to get to seventy thousand. um he's got um i've got different uh companies with him pro wrestling with he's been with them for a while and then a british store called wrestle central they've got an exclusive davy store so oh. um it's it's really it's it's like pro wrestling tees but on like another level because they sell like cups uh, pillows, t-shirts, keychains, just anything you, you want of British Bulldog. They even got um, replica Heart Foundation vests from when you my dad. Wow. Yeah, so they sell those. I mean, they're, wow. they're not cheap, but they're they're real leather <laughs> and they're hand painted and uh, that's they look phenomenal. Like every uh, print of them, it looks like it's like a screen print, but it's a woman in England. She hand paints that paints them. I actually want her to touch up my dad's one because his, you know, over time and it's oh, yeah. made quite a lot. So yeah, the, they've got everything and I'm always trying to come up with new ideas and new things. I'm thinking about coming up with like a fanny pack or something. Yeah, my dad loves rock fanny packs all the time. <laughs> so he's got that. Um, you know, I got my dad signed with an agency, um, CMG uh, Global, which is really cool because they represent like Andre the Giant, Aaliyah. Um, yeah, like a lot of big name people. I think they represent uh, as well like Muhammad Ali. Um, so my dad is being represented with, with them. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to get um, Roots of Fight and other companies with mm -hmm. him on that. 
and you know his stuff uh, grew and you know i had the opportunity before the pandemic really happened was uh, travel with his wrestling gear and uh go to different events and which was really cool because you know I, I displayed his stuff really nicely oh, wow. and, um, had people take pictures with it and you know mm -hmm. get to touch it and feel it and have them put the vest on and you know um because it, it i could it re really meant a lot to them and it really meant a lot to me to see how much my of an impact and an influence my dad still has today oh definitely yes Man. And then Definitely. just getting that, that little, you know, that, that feel for Davey, it was so nice to see. And, you know, I, people were like, oh, are you, do, are, do you want people to like put it on? I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, it's another vest. Like, it's not going to rip or anything. It's fine, you know. Um, so I got to do that and I had to, uh, other bookings coming up, you know, from Germany to England and, but they've been postponed because of the pandemic. And um, I was going to at WWE fan access because WWE saw what I was doing and they thought mm -hmm. it was cool. So they wanted me to just display that at fan access and have the fans get that experience there. Again, fan access hasn't happened because of everything. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to, to turn what's going on into a positive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it, it's not easy, you know, um, but you know, it seems to, uh, with hard work and over time, it's, it's worked. And I think Davey, you know, he did a lot of the, he did all the grunt work there. I'm just there to, to <laughs> help expedite it. Um, so yeah. And I, I, from there, I started a website for him, DaveyBoysmith.com. So if mm -hmm. you guys want to check that out, um, I've got different, I've got, um, Davey's diet on there that him wow. and my mom kind of came up with yeah so i've got that on there if you want to check that out his, uh, his schedule his workout schedule um i've got frequently asked questions on there so if anybody you know from if they watch this or it's like oh i've got a question as yeah. long as it's not rude or inappropriate yeah exactly um, you know, I'm, I'm very um fast with that um i answer them all um as well as i can um and then it's just got you know bios of harry myself and my mom and you know i was just kind of inspired because i saw what shannon lee was doing with bruce lee his yes. daughter yes what exactly she, and i thought i thought that's mm -hmm. really cool and how she's just really taken things to the next level and bruce lee has doesn't have any new content he's been gone mm -hmm. for what since the 70s oh yeah yeah you know so but and she's look what she's as big as ever though is exactly <laughs> got like 5 million followers and you know yeah. he's, he's a legend to begin with but it's just yeah, exactly. how he, to this day he's he's getting new and younger fans it's so mm -hmm. i just thought that's a cool idea and she kind of inspired me to start start the the instagram and then from there it kind of branched out into all of this and uh yeah wow. and then you know from there uh, prior to the, to the site but last year i got the call for him to go into the hall of fame and you know, exactly. they, yeah, I got that. And, you know, they, they just said it was time for Davey and, you know, unfortunately it's been postponed, but it's going to be happening. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. happening. Um, and, uh, I'm happy that, you know, it's going to be in Tampa where Davey lived and where I live. And it really makes things easy for me. Um, <laughs> my, my brother, I feel sad that my granddad, he probably, well, you know, he's in England, my dad's dad, so he won't be, be able to attend it, but um sure. you know we just got to take what, we, what we've got and you know i think wwe also took a lot of notes from the super bowl yesterday as to what they're gonna do and um mm -hmm. yeah so um yeah that's i pretty much i'm the <laughs> i'm the business behind the whole bulldog brand I, wow. do, I do it all and um it's i think it's really helped um i don't know it's given it's like fulfilled my soul if that makes oh, that's sense. so awesome and um, just, I just feel like I'm, I've got like a new relation, different relationship with my dad. Now it's like, I'm, I'm doing more research about, you know, his past and mm -hmm. finding new things about him all the time. And what's a, what's a good business deal or, you know, what would Davey want? Um, which, you know, I never really thought of before. It's always just been WWE. Yeah, they, yeah. they do, you know, their thing and they do obviously a great job, but now I'm like taking things by the reins and I've, I control it. So, um, oh. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, uh, um, uh, uh, grateful for it. Blessed. That, that's so, so cool. I love that. Like that, that was one, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, like Davy boy was supposed to go into the WWE hall of fame and COVID of course pushed that back. So it's a hundred percent that he'll, that this is, this is the year for, for him to go in yeah like i mean 
I haven't gotten like talk to WWE about like the plan or what mm-hmm. the next steps, what's going to happen. But I do know with the hall of fame that they can't delay it anymore because they exactly. have to move on. So, um, you know, I think they're just going to have to do it. So, um, you know, I wish people were like, oh, can they just hold it for fans? And it's like, I don't, this is our new reality. I don't know when we're going to get fans again. I know. You know? So, um, which is unfortunate, but things, I guess, happen the way that they're meant to. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just glad it's happening. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's long, way long overdue for Davey to be inducted in, into the WWE Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and uh, my cousin Billy is is a is a huge fan of of all the hearts like his his favorite is is Brett that he he loves Davey too. <laughs> but his favorite is Brett and he loves Davey and Owen and Anvil of course and he, like he's just like like a huge heart fan and 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 he wanted me to ask you um if when your dad gets inducted into the wwe hall of fame who would you like to see put him in um it's gonna be probably my brother uh okay do it and then you know um i would like tj wilson to because you know tj was close with us Mm -hmm. um so if tj could but i don't know how wwe is going to do it they might just have harry and i out there and we just accept it and then you okay. know they uh i don't know if they're going to have uh what what they're going to do i have no idea Every, <laughs> everyone's like you don't know yet i'm like i don't know you know my luck i might get a call and they might be like you know we might leave it for now <laughs> that would be my luck but i i don't think that's what's going to happen because you know wrestlemania weekend they with the exception of last year's one you know they have their system so, oh yeah you know uh but yeah th- that's who i would like to see oh nice nice okay and everyone heard heard the stories of of how everyone trained like your dad own brett they all trained in Stu hart's basement yeah <laughs> um, yeah in the dungeon do, yeah, do, yeah did, do you have any stories about that from from what from what you heard from your father and brett and everything um, I don't really have any like uh, crazy stories or anything. I just remember just myself, like when I would be, I'd see the practices, like I think they ran them Wednesdays and Saturdays or mm-hmm. Sundays. And, you know, I got to see Harry and Natty and TJ train in there. Nice. And, um, you know, it was my uncle Bruce was running the camps then. And I remember seeing my grandfather taking some guys down there and um, <laughs> doing some maneuvers on them and holds. And it's just crazy, you know, that my grandfather would put the, like, just do something ever so slightly. And it's like, oh my God, um, it was just so technical <laughs> what he would do. So I, I remember that. And I just remember, you know, my dad, when he could, uh, he was down there when he could and would mm-hmm. show Harry and TJ some things. Mm-hmm. And uh, my dad actually, um, he wanted to open up a wrestling school um, after awesome. wrestling. So he was really looking into that, looking at uh, buildings and facilities. So that would have been really amazing if that had happened. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That, um, did, did you watch your dad's early stuff with WWE when he was part of a, a tag team, the British, the British, the British Bulldogs? And, um, <laughs> um, I didn't really, I, all of my memories of my dad for the most part is, you know, from, from the braids on. Gotcha. You know, gotcha, gotcha. Three years old, three yeah. four years old. Um, cause I, I was really, I was like, you know, a baby when the British Bulldogs came out, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, seeing them on TV, that's, you know, I, people ask me all the time and you'll see in the documentary, I refer to my dad as Davey and that's oh, yeah. because I saw him, you know, he was always on TV. And then when he'd be home, my mom would say, where's Davey? Or, uh, so it was always Davey. Um, so that's, that was my earliest memories was, uh, you know, seeing the British Bulldogs on top TV and Davey was on TV. So he was Davey. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I, I know he, he wanted me to call him dad, but he was Davey. <laughs> Unfortunately, <Of course. laughs> that's who he was. Um, so yeah. Now the, that's like one of the best best bouts ever is when your dad the british bulldog wrestled brett the hitman heart and beat him for the title mm-hmm. 
and and um I read you were actually there for that, right? I was. I was uh, four going on five years old. Um, okay. That and uh, WrestleMania seven when I was four. Uh, yeah, that those two times, those are probably like my earliest wrestling memories. And yeah, I remember traveling. We traveled on the train from my granddad's house up north in England all the way down to London. And we stayed, I think it was a Marriott or a, a Ramada hotel. Okay. And I remember seeing, you know, Undertaker and Paul Bearer and um all the legion of doom and like them at catering and i remember we went around <laughs> and we fed the pigeons at trafalgar square and um it was just a really cool time and it was probably you know i we were sitting so high up so it was hard to see like what was going on and like mm -hmm. the ring looked like Polly pocket or something and it was completely sold out and it was the biggest probably the loudest event i've been to and uh that you show know, was i've never wild. seen a reaction like that again mm -hmm. uh with the exception of the 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 um canadian stampede you know the cameras were shaking because it was so loud um but yeah it was uh that was probably SummerSlam 92 is my favorite match of my dad's and i think oh that my was god mine's too one moment so yeah yeah like that that match was so good from start to finish it, yeah. it was just like masterpiece a, Beautiful, yeah, a beautiful told story. Like Brett, Brett was excellent. Your father was was just was just as as great as Brett, and just to have those two in the ring at the same time, both in their prime, yeah, and it, it was just an amazing match. I I think they even overshadowed Randy Savage and Warrior. They were the main event. <laughs> uh, the other, yeah, the other match and. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that like they brought out the best in each other. Like they brought out like I've never seen a match like that before, and I've never seen it again. And they've never done that event in England before that, and they didn't do it again. So it was like literally like a once in a lifetime. And the more time that goes on, I feel like the match is getting just more and more talked about and popular. Um, and you know, it's getting. I mean, not that it didn't get credit before, but mm -hmm. you know, I remember watching that match in 2002 with my dad. And it's not talked about, wasn't talked about then as it is today. It's not the same. Yeah. You know, it's like a classic. Um, oh, definitely. Yes. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a really, you know, I was lucky enough to, to be there and have the memories of it. And um, yeah. Now, do you ever like, there, there's so many different stories about Randy Savage that like he was, he was out of his mind and then some people say he was like the sweetest guy did you ever have any interactions with randy mm -hmm. savage yeah randy savage randy and my dad were friends oh, okay and randy and my dad actually they got their gear made by the same guy um oh god i can't remember his name <laughs> michael michael um he lives in tampa and he he used to do Jimi hendrix's wrestling gear so uh my macho man referred my dad to michael and you know you saw my dad's uh epic iconic gear that he had and yeah. um they, they were they my dad and randy they were friends and you know they used to work out together and oh, wow. i would see him you know in and out and i remember when him and liz were having problems randy mm -hmm. was over often um but he was randy was always really nice to me um Good. you know he was he was probably one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Oh, and mine too. Yeah. Cool. Just a really cool guy. But you know, um, uh, that's just my, my, my <laughs> take on him. I, that's, that's awesome. I, I like hearing that cause Randy's like one of my all time best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> he's, he's one that should have been in the hall of fame long before he was, but, um, you know, uh, he's in now and, um, I just wish that while I moved back to Florida when he was here, that I could have gotten the chance to see him again. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, I know. And like, why do you think the WWE never wanted to put the world championship on, on, on Davey? Like Davey had incredible runs with, with world, world, world wrestling federation or entertainment. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, like that, that's, one title like they they definitely like they put the i i c title on him when he beat brett the your the your european title right was when he yep. feuded with uh, Shawn michaels yeah 
And yeah, the, he had every pretty much every title. Yeah, exactly. The tag the titles, the prime tag title, mm-hmm. European champion, intercontinental champion. He even mm-hmm. had the hardcore title. That's right. Um, right. I think that they just like, I I don't know. I think like with there was you know, um, you know, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Shawn Michaels, but mm-hmm. um, I think back then there things were politics were very high, yeah. and I think like yeah. they just like didn't know when the right time or place for for Davey was at that time but I do know that when my dad went back in 99 it was definitely like seriously considered um because I remember my dad talking about it and um you know I think for his last run that's that's what the the plan was unfortunately it didn't happen but I think it was just kind of like just timing um Mm -hmm. just like with his hall of fame (laughs) (laughs) uh, you know that's that's unfortunately uh, like the world we live in. So. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. And like that, that's like a, a feud I wanted to ask about when when Davey came back to WWE from his run in WCW. Um, they put him in the feud with uh, Sean, and they brought they brought your mother out for that feud mm-hmm. too. Yeah, like, back like in how like, yeah. like like um I, I'm I'm sure you. You talk. You talk to your mom about that. Like, how did she get involved with the Shawn Michaels and Davy Boy feud? Um. Well, my mom. She always like. She always wanted to be uh, um like a part of it in some mm-hmm. way. And then that was kind of like the storyline they'd come up with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you know, she, she but she loved doing it, and she loved working with my dad and Owen, and she loved working with Sean and. Jim Cornette and them coming up with different ideas and, mm-hmm. and scenarios and um yeah but it was it was interesting as a as a kid seeing yeah, yeah. you know my mom she never really I'm not saying that she she told us like oh yeah Sean and I are together but you know she acted it very well on mm-hmm. tv and then you know when she'd come home it was you know her and my dad and us as a family and uh <laughs> but uh, it was it was kind of like this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because dur- during during that feud, your your father also teamed with with out with Owen Hart a lot, and yeah. and it, it it was it was a really really great team. Like they were they, a really good team. They were funny oh, too. Great heels. I know they really were, and from what I read, Davey like liked to do jokes too, and Owen was like top of the top when it came to jokes like he always would pull pranks on people yeah and uh, like how was it with like Davey and Owen hanging out all the time both pulling pranks (laughs) I think uh you know because they just like got bored on the road like with (laughs) traveling and um you know uh my brother he's picked up on that trait with the pranks (laughs) calling people uh but it was so like funny i actually have if you guys check on my dad's page i think Mm -hmm. it's far far down but also it's on youtube um uh but it's from my my collection it's a davy and owen doing they're doing phone calls calling people and pushing pizza on people and um yeah you'll have to to check (laughs) that out but they those two, you know, and they're like innocent. They're fairly innocent pranks, you know, <laughs> just yeah. talking about pizza. Um, but yeah, the hilarious. <laughs> oh man, I, that 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 was that was great. It, it, like, it, it it was such a a fun time because um Brett brought brought the team back, and it was Brett and Anvil like for like the the old the old school fans like he brought brett 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 and anvil back and he then he added owen maybe and, and owen and brian pillman yeah yeah brian brian pillman and and it was it was just so awesome because davy was with his whole like family his whole crew yeah yeah it was, uh, <laughs> great and like they that that team was just like they they were so good at being heels and like mm-hmm. They were just, I don't know, it was like they just did like the best promos and it just seemed so oh, effortless. Yeah. Like they just yeah. worked so well together um, and just so funny. You know, you see like my dad doing like these obnoxious dances and, um, you know, <laughs> I Brett, remember was, I remember he got injured at one point with his knee and he mm-hmm. was just in the wheelchair and like they were all really working that wheelchair. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Brett was good on the mic and, um, you know, they, I, 
that was that was such a i wish we could go back to that time and coincidentally it's uh jim's birthday today it would have been his birthday oh good day wow yeah, so. well you're you're friends with uh so, um natty right yeah she yeah natty. she's my cousin yeah yeah oh, yeah she's 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 doing good like she she went in the 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 WWE and she's one of the like longest lasting wrestlers there like like between men and women like she's yeah. like one of the longest lasting ones there yeah and she's um she just keeps getting better and better and yeah. you know, I feel like she looks like like I don't know what what she's drinking or what she's doing <laughs> but she's like looking more and more young younger every day right exactly that's what I was saying that's great. And she's, I'm just really, you know, this is what she's always wanted and, you know, she's worked really hard for it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that everything she's wanted has come to fruition and, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't an easy road or process, you know, prior to WWE and even in WWE with TJ's injury and, um, mm -hmm. all the highs and lows and she's, she's stuck it out. She, she works, she's probably one of the hardest if not the hardest worker I know. So. Oh, she, yeah, definitely. Like, like she, she buses, buses her ass like in that ring, and she, she puts does. on, she puts on top, top matches every, every time she's out there. And even if the opponent they put her with isn't really that good, she makes them look, look really good. She does. She does. Um, and like I'll watch a match, and she'll be like, "Oh, I messed this up or something." And I'm like, "I don't. I didn't even like." She's just so like. Perf Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, one thing, when, the, when, when your dad went over to WCW, like that, I, I think that was like a really fun run. Like it, it, it was a great, a great run for Davey. It, it, it wasn't, it wasn't long, but it was, mm. it, it was fun, and he, he got the team with Sting and. And few with like flair and stuff, and um, the shock master, he was part shock of that master. angle. <laughs> yeah, I would love, um, like when they do the hall of fame thing and like the <laughs> video reel that they put together, I would love to see the shock master included because that's like a piece of history that's like, <laughs> nobody's ever forgotten about. <laughs> Just yeah, like you said, it was um. It was it was short, but it was you know Davy and Sting. They I think they were a really good tag team. Or and, they were excellent. Uh, you know Davy I think brought a lot of UK fans mm -hmm. to WCW, and mm -hmm. um, it was something that he needed to do at the time, and um, it worked out really well. Oh, it did! It did. Like him and him, him and Sting worked very very well as a team. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I watched some matches with like him and William Regal from then, and um, mm -hmm. like, just really good stuff. Oh, definitely, yes, but yeah, Shockmaster. I, 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 I watch it back, and I see your dad's face. He's trying to keep a straight face, but you do see him smirk. But he's trying so hard to keep a straight face when Shockmaster comes flying out. <laughs> yeah, the, so like, and you just hear like the in the background. Uh, and he's like, he fell on his ass. He fell flat on his ass. And uh, he, my dad wasn't trying to like make fun, but it was just kind of like, you know, when you're on live TV and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and like, you kind of forget you're mic'd up and you're like, oh my God, what the, what has happened? <laughs> and he's got the stormtrooper glittery helmet on. I know. Because <laughs> yeah, um, it was, it was Davey, it was Sting, right? Ric Flair. And I think it was Sid Vicious, right? Wasn't that the crew that was there when that happened? Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. And uh, uh, it was, yeah, I remember Ric Flair. It was like on like a, a show of his and the Fifi, who he's now married to. Fifi, yeah. Flair. Yeah, or when, it was Wendy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have to watch that again after we have the our chat. Just, exactly. just uh, give me a smile. <laughs> you know, I, I actually would have would have liked like to see a match between Sting and and Davey. I mean, they work well as a team, but it would have been great to see them 
go one on one with each other? It's uh, there actually is a, a tag team match. It's Sting and Lex Luger. So coincidentally, Davey's two previous tag team partners. It's uh, but it's Sting and Lex Luger. They're a tag team, and they're mm -hmm. against Davey and Jim. Oh. So uh, it's on my dad's YouTube channel. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, oh, British Bulldog. Watch that. Yeah, check it out. I think it's from a Nitro and sometime in '98. But um, yeah, it's, it's Sting's got the Wolf Pack, the red and uh, yeah, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that, and then Lex is like an NWO. But uh, no, yeah, yes. check um, it out. Oh yeah, and um, like Vader, that was that was a a big view for Davey there, and oh yeah. And Dave would pick would pick him up too. Yeah, like he was <laughs> have him up and everything. I know. My dad, like I watched a match. It was like I think one of his second last match, yeah, with WWE, and it was on metal and it was against Midian. And he just hoists Midian up with his shoulders. Like Midian's like six foot seven. I know. I know he's tall. And I was like, oh my God, like just impressive strength. Um <laughs> But yeah, you'll check out those matches from my dad's YouTube uh, channels. It's getting videos are getting uploaded all the time, um, different daily motion things and um, nice. from, yeah. From I don't know where are these clips, how they <laughs> get come about. Like I'm like I've never seen this before, but it's uh, it's good. Nice, nice. So when Harry Smith, when your your brother got signed to the the WWE. Um, it, it was, it was a good run for him, but, um, I'm sure like you and everybody else would have liked to seen it last, last longer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I agree. If you just worded that perfectly, I wish he could have, it could have lasted longer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he did a lot of great things in there with the heart dynasty and, yes, um, exactly. you know, he, I, I think he had a lot of, um, there was a lot of really cool moments that he experienced and, um, you know, I don't know what his next step is, where he's going to go, but, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens because, you know, we'll be seeing more Harry. Yeah, exactly. And how does that feel for you, like, ha having your brother carry out your dad's name now? Because he's not Harry Smith anymore, right? Isn't he called Davy Boy Smith Jr.? He was Jr.? Um, D. H. Smith all throughout mm -hmm. um, WWE for okay. David Harry Smith because, you know, they were just – just did Harry didn't work at the time so gotcha. they wanted D.H. Smith and you know when he left there he um kind of played around with different names mm -hmm. and um and he just from there went for to Davy Boy Smith Jr. and you know I feel like Harry has really found his voice like yeah. found who he is in wrestling now and I think that's because of the help from my dad like the Davy Boy Smith Jr. and him being like, okay, well, I'm representing this name. I'm going to represent, you know, have the, because in Heart Dynasty, he just had pink and black. So mm -hmm. now he's got the red, white, blue. He's got the paw mm -hmm. prints. He's playing, getting more creative with what he's doing. And, um, you know, I think now the next chat, because he's been Davy Boy Smith Jr. for so long, but I think he, my dad has helped him find confidence nice. in, in, in who he is. So I think now he's going to move forward just being Harry Smith. Nice, wow. nice, yeah. Like you, you're you're doing such great, great work. Like you're 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 running your dad's stuff, and you're there for your brother. You watch Natty, and I, I'm I'm sure you still talk to Brett yet. And it, it's it's really it's really good to see that because I mean you can you can tell how close you are, how how close you were with with Davey. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what I want, um, you know, people to see when they see this documentary coming up with the mm -hmm. WWE. Um, I don't know when the release date is for okay. it, but um, I know Davies from what I was told, it's going to be like one of the last episodes, nice. um, second last, if not the last. So, um, you know, I, I just want people to see, get the, get the feeling uh, of who the person I knew. And yeah, exactly. dad and I, um, we, we had a really great relationship and we were really, really close. And, um, you know, he, he, uh, you know, definitely left a, an imprint on my heart and, mm -hmm. um, you know, he, everything that I do is, is for him. Oh, exactly. And, you know, I, I want, I want people to, to see what an amazing person, not just a wrestler, but a father, 
keywords. Yeah, because like all the fans, like they they see see Davy, you know, as as the man on television, like this this big muscle guy and and someone who could just beat up anybody and and um like what what would you like to like what would you like the fans to know about Davy behind the scenes, like when he he wasn't the British bulldog? Um, obviously, you know, like the amazing person he was and like the, the big heart he had, and he Mm -hmm. was a very generous, warm person, you know, he would give you the shirt off his back, he would help anybody, you know, even with my dad, you know, he might have been in a good place or bad place, but he was always, if you needed help, Davey would have helped you. Um, you know, he, he never gave up, he never quit. And, um, you know, he, he was, um, he he just like he, he could have had the woe was me mentality where he's like oh well this has happened to me i've broken my back i've yeah i'm gonna sit and complain about it and you know what she had every right to but it was like well what can i do all right well i can get up and uh, try to make this day better and go work out and you know he was always um trying to 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 better the situation and i always think like when i'm feeling low i'm like well what would davy do what would he do and um, that's, those are kind of some examples of, as of what I want, I want people to, to see. And, you know, like you said, people, you know, they might think like, yo, he's just says muscle bound, you know, yeah, exactly. whatever. Uh, but no, my dad was a, was a person and he had a, a heart and a big heart. And um, yeah. Okay, good, good. That's, that's real. That's really nice. Like Davey, Davey, like I always loved, loved love Davey like his his matches were great like my 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 favorite feud that he had actually was back when he was in a tag team with with Dynamite Kid when they yeah. when they were feuding with a uh, Axe and Smash of of de- demolition yeah yeah and um and I love the feud they had with Brett and Anvil and it I'm, I mean it was it was like that was just such a great great team like the the tag team wrestling back then was so good. So good. Yeah, I actually um, watched, uh, it was WrestleMania, uh, was it WrestleMania 3? Yeah, it was WrestleMania 2 or 3 that he was with Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we watched that and uh, with Bruce <laughs> Cake and Greg Valentine, the dream team. And it was mm-hmm. just, uh, it was really good. That was a really good match. Oh, yeah, no, no, that, it definitely okay. was. It definitely was. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. That. <laughs> so, what's what's next for for you? Do do you have anything coming up for you besides all the stuff you do for your dad? And that's and... a good question. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, that's I I've I've been asked that often, and now I'm like, cause you know, with everything that's happened with my dad, and I want to continue that journey, and I will never stop doing Mm -hmm. what I can for my dad and running the brand. I will always be doing that. But, you know, with um, WWE, for instance, like everything I've wanted has happened. (laughs) Everything I've wanted. So, um, you know, this is actually going to be, I've got another podcast tomorrow. And then um, for the time being, I'm not going to be doing any more wrestling related podcasts. I'm going to do a lot of media press for the icons and for the hall of fame. And um, I, I will be doing that, but, um, you know, I'm going to be kind of focusing on, on me and, um, you know, I've made, which I was, you know, I, I, th- right. What I did with, for my dad, I, I, there was something I, I had to do and I made that a priority and I made that happen. Mm-hmm. But now I'm going to put Georgia with that alongside with it. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, um, I was so determined and focused to get warm to my, my dad to this point. And now I'm like, okay, well, now it's your turn. And I, I, would, I really want to, um, you know, explore writing and, um, you know, I want to travel more. And um, I would like to, you know, you guys will see me on, on a WWE Network for a couple of things coming nice. up. But, um, you know, I'd like to, to get on, get, get in front of the camera more. And, um, you know, people, people see a little, a little bit of Georgia and what I'm about. And, uh, 
Yeah, I, I definitely want to to get back into um, you know uh, uh, photography and um, okay. you know taking pictures and um, yeah, just just do that and just I love being creative and coming up with new concepts and ideas for my dad and new designs and um, you know uh, so yeah that's 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 pretty much that. <laughs> okay, and the wrestling bug has has never has never caught you, huh? No, <laughs> no, no, it, it didn't. Um, but, you know, um, I've got other skills, I guess. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, my dad, he really didn't uh, want me to get into wrestling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just just because if if you had a daughter and, you know, back in the early 2000s and she said, I want to be a wrestler, what would you say? Uh, you're you're right, because it's 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 rough. It is. It's, it's, you know, and just my, it's my dad, you know, that was the life he chose and, and wanted. And, you know, there was a lot of good and there was some bad and mm -hmm. he just kind of wanted the, the best for me as, you know, mm -hmm. and he just wanted me to, um, you know, he, he just, he just didn't want me to have the wrestling life. Um, yeah, exactly. you know, whereas, you know, Harry, he's, he's built for that. He's a <laughs> six foot five, 260, yeah. 70 pound guy. And, mm -hmm. um, there's a wrestling pedigree from you know my family and nope. that's that's what harry that's what what he his um passion and desire is that was never my passion or desire harry had the wrestling i say dolls and i had my barbies um, okay. so that kind of you know we were just that that was it and he was made for wrestling and i wasn't and um you know i think i'm i'm um i try to be creative and um you know there's there's lots of things that i want to explore and um but yeah yeah wrestling never bit me okay there you go <laughs> um and the last the last thing um where can fans find you at and the website for your father and all that stuff of course so um <laughs> i'm on uh, instagram i'm uh, georgia j smith I'm also on Twitter, um, uh, twitter.com slash uh, Georgia Smith 87. Um, I'm on Facebook, uh, just Georgia, I think it's just Georgia Smith, or if that doesn't come up, Georgia Smith 7, um, facebook.com backslash Georgia Smith 7. Um, and I run my dad's uh, Instagram, which is at Davy Boy Smith, or, sorry, blah, 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 blah. there's a lot of that content, a lot of things coming out. <laughs> Mouth is talking, head's not thinking. Um, at the British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith is his Instagram. My dad's Twitter is uh, twitter.com slash uh, underscore Davy Boy Smith. He's got YouTube, uh, which is the British Bulldog. Check that out. Um, and he's got Facebook, the British Bulldog. And he's got his website, davyboysmith.com. So he's got a lot of stuff, you know, he's been gone for a long time, but he's very busy. He's the busiest. <laughs> he's very busy. Um, so yeah, check that out. And um, Hope you guys like the website. And if you have any questions that you know you didn't hear or want to know, feel free to ask on the site. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining. This this has been really fun. Like I said, I'm a big wrestling fan. My my cousin is a big wrestling fan. We grew up watching your father and Brett and Macho Man, Piper Hogan, you know. Classic. All the, yeah. all the greats. <laughs> the legends, the greats, yeah. Well, yeah, thank you so much for having me. And, um, yeah, it's been fun. And um, I'm glad I'm glad we did this. Yes, I'm so happy we did too. All right. All right. Thank you again. And have a, have a good night and rest of the week. You too. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah.